Alright, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your pick a card reading. So we're going to take a look at the person on your mind, who you're thinking about. We're going to see what is their energy towards you at this moment. Keep in mind it is general, so it may or may not resonate. Take it if it does, leave it if it doesn't. If you guys want to book something personal, I do have a special one day promotion. So check the date when you're seeing this for 30% off any of the emergency readings on the website. So I'll leave that information down below in the comment section. But again, just check the date because it's only for one day. Okay, so we have three piles here, pile one, pile two, and pile three. So we're gonna start with the rose quartz and let's see. So this person on your mind, actually let's start with an oracle card. How does this person on your mind currently feel? <clears throat> How does this person on your mind currently feel? Ooh, the devil. They feel like they're bound to you. They're very attracted to you as well, but this person feels like they're drawn to you and they can't release you. They can't let you go. They're, they're hooked on you in some way. So there's an addictive component here to this person. Bound. This is the devil. Let's see. How does this person feel about pile one? So we're getting a really intense energy right off the bat. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Four of... Okay, this could be someone that you actually had a missed opportunity with. And they feel bound to you. They feel like they can't release you. So this could be someone that you've already had a falling out with. I feel like time has passed. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like time has passed with this situation where there was a missed opportunity. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Ooh, this person is very much stuck on you. Okay, this person is very stuck on you, but with the two of pentacles here, I feel like they're in this limbo energy where maybe they don't know what to do about this. So what they do is they just stalk you online. Like this person is watching you heavily. I'm getting full on obsession in pile one because the devil is the card of obsession. Page of swords reverse. So page of swords is like, okay, I'm doing a little bit of light stalking. What are they up to? Page of swords reverse is the stalker card. Like this is full blown watching you looking at every detail of your life online line. So this is someone you had a missed opportunity with and they have not let you go, whether you realize it or not. What are they showing you? I just want to see what are they showing you? The fool. What are they showing you? Okay, so they're trying to give off this impression that they are free. They're free of this. They're happy. They're light. That's not the case. Like they're trying to give you this impression that they're really free from this. Like they have no attachment to this anymore, but this is not the case at all. They really feel like they miss an opportunity with you. What do they want to say? What does this person want to say? Yeah, see? Separation. That's what I'm getting. The Four of Cups reverse. This is someone you're not with. This is someone that you guys already had a missed opportunity, okay? You are separated from this person, but they're still bound to you. Let's see. I'm single now. If you guys separated before in the past and this person got with someone else or if they already were with someone else, they are single now. So they have left this situation or they're planning on leaving, but they are unstable. Let's see, what does this person want to say to you? And we have avoidant attachment. I feel like this is the kind of person, and this comes out a lot in these readings that I do, like the general readings, this is the kind of person that you would have no idea that they still have feelings for you because they will never show you. They will never tell you. They will never reveal it. They will completely act the opposite of what they actually feel. And this is due to their avoidant attachment style. This person struggles with vulnerability, with being exposed. That's why they really wanna make sure that you think that they're free of this and that they're happy and they're good. Not the case at all. This person is, I think, quite honestly, obsessed with you. But they're also in this unstable energy. They haven't healed their avoidant attachment style, so I'm not sure if they'll even act on these feelings that they have. Let's grab another card. Yeah, see, the hangman. They're not gonna act on these feelings. 
this is the kind of person where it's like you wait forever for this person because deep down maybe you know that they have feelings or you know that they care but they never show it they never act on it now the reason why this is is because they have an avoidant attachment style and they have not healed this avoidant attachment style so they feel obsessed with you they feel bound to you but with the hangman here i quite honestly don't feel like this person's going to do anything about it it's like they're safe just watching you from a distance right page of swords reverse i feel like this person they wouldn't want you to know that they're doing this as well so they may be hiding the fact that they're keeping tabs on you um, because again, like if you knew that it's sort of a vulnerability thing. So this person doesn't want you to know that they still feel attached to you. Okay. So that is pile one. I hope that resonated. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, I do have a 30% off promotion only for today and it's for the emergency reading. So it'll be in the comment section, but let's move on to pile two and see what's going on. Okay. So if you guys chose this polka dot agate, don't mind my finger, by the way. I told you guys yesterday, my nail like tore off, like the actual nail, so it's quite painful. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see, pile two. How does this person feel about you? Oof, we're getting heavy energy to start. Okay, so pile one pulled the devil to start. You guys pulled the dark night of the soul. What is going on? Okay, this person is going through it. They're in a dark night. They're in a dark place. They could be in a depression. Um, it's interesting because this is how they're feeling about you. It doesn't necessarily mean in general. This, there's something about this connection that has thrown this person into a very dark space. Let's see. Okay, the Knight of Cups reverse. We have strong Cancer energy. Taurus, or sorry, no. I don't know where Taurus came from. Um, well, maybe Taurus. I don't know. It came out. So we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And maybe Taurus. I don't know. So Dark Knight of the Soul, Knight of Cups Reverse, Chariot Reverse, and the Two of Swords Reverse. This person is definitely not taking action towards you right now, for sure. Um, they may be avoiding you, actually, as well. I feel like this person is battling, like the dark in the light okay like this person it's kind of like you know the visual of like the angel and devil on your shoulder this person is battling themselves they're like at war with themselves they have feelings for you but they're not taking any action towards you right now because they have to get through this energy first. This person's almost too distracted by what they're dealing with inside of themselves to come towards you. So they may have to avoid you, not deliberately, but in the process of them trying to balance the dark and the light within themselves, it's distracting them from coming towards you. Now, the light side, like the angel, the, you know, wants to come towards you, okay? When they're in the light, when they're in the energy of love, the vibration of love, they want to come towards you. But I feel like this person is often in this dark energy. They're very conflicted. How do they feel? Five of Swords. I also feel like this dark night of the soul is their insecurities, their fears, inadequacies that they're battling. See the five of swords. Look at the look at the image. See how this guy is has his hand on his head, and he looks very distraught. Like I feel like this person is trying to battle their own ego right now. Their ego is getting the best of them. I feel like their ego is winning. And remember what I was even saying about like the devil and angel on shoulder. And it's interesting because see how we have like this black crow. It kind of makes me feel like this is the devil. I almost feel like the devil is winning right now for this person. Like this person is giving into their fears more than they're giving into love. And that's what's keeping them apart from you. This person could be tatted. I'm getting a lot of tattooed people here. We have tattoos here. So it doesn't have to be, but this person could be tatted. Let's see. Wow, I'm so madly in love with you. So I'm not sure if you guys know this. Have they told you this? Probably not. <clears throat> this person is in love with you. And that's what I'm getting when they're in the light when they're listening to their higher self, they they have feelings for you. They want to come towards you, but I feel like they recognize that there's a part of them that maybe sabotages love. 
has to do with insecurity. This person does love you. Oh, yeah, see? But I ran from you. They love you, but they ran from you. You hurt me. I feel like this person probably hurt you too by running, but maybe they got hurt in this connection, whether you realize it or not, and so they ran. Let's clarify this. This person does feel like you hurt them to some degree. Queen of Cups reverse. For some of you, you might have just protected your heart. Like Queen of Cups reverse, you might have withdrew your energy to protect your heart and this could have ended up hurting this person. I don't think, with the Queen of Cups reverse, I don't think you intentionally tried to hurt this person. It did though, Tower, this person got really triggered in this connection. I don't know if you like withdrew your love from them to some degree and that hurt them or, cause the Queen of Cups is like, I'm getting this energy of someone who maybe was expressing their love and then kind of drew it back in. But sometimes the Queen of Cups does that to protect her heart, not necessarily to hurt someone. But whatever happened, I feel like this person got very triggered by this and it really hurt them and maybe they got freaked out and ran from you. The other, the other option too here that I'm getting is the Queen of Cups reverse can be very emotionally volatile. So if you showed like a very um, unstable sense of self or if you got kind of overly emotional, that might have hurt this person as well. Okay. Let's see. How does this person feel about Pile 2? They're stressing. Oh my gosh. They are in a dark place, guys. Seriously. If this person is not approaching you, if they're not taking action, if they're avoiding you, this is not about you. This is about them literally battling their fears. Like, we got the dark night of the soul, we got the nine of swords. This person is stressed. They're in a dark maze right now and they have to get out. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for pile two. So I hope this resonated. If you guys wanna book something personal, I do have a one day promotion for 30% off the emergency readings. I'm gonna leave it in the comment section, okay? So let's move on to pile three. Okay, let me just take a sip of this. My throat is like already getting sore in the morning, just started. Okay, so we have fool's gold. Okay. <clears throat> so pile three, how does this person feel about you? Okay, so lighter, um, lighter energy from pile one and pile two. So we have understanding, which sounds good. Let's see, let's pull a mixed emotion as well. How does this person feel about pile three? So maybe they're starting to realize something. Maybe they wanna make you understand something. Okay, we have lonely, they're feeling lonely right now. Isolated, alienated, and friendless. Okay, how does this person feel about pile three? Four of swords. The two of wands. The seven of cups. Okay, so let me describe this person before we get into how they feel. This is the kind of person who has a really hard time settling into one connection. And I feel like this is the kind of person who typically likes to keep their options open or they're that kind of flighty sort of non-committal type of person. Maybe they like to be texting multiple people all the time. What's interesting about this person is that despite doing this, they still feel very lonely because they don't actually allow themselves to connect to people on a deeper level. I get the sense that this person likes to have a lot of surface level connections. They like to kind of leave the door open so that if they have to bolt, they can. Um, and I feel here that you guys, you and this person may not be speaking right now with the Four of Swords and they're actually really feeling this. They might be starting to understand where they've gone wrong in this connection or why they have a hard time connecting to people on a deeper level. So maybe you tried to get more from this person. Maybe you tried to connect with them deeper and they pushed you away. Um, or you guys went into some sort of separation here. This person is lonely, very lonely. So again, like they may date a lot or they may connect with a lot of people, but because they don't allow themselves to connect on a deeper level, they are left feeling lonely. 
And I think they're starting to see this, okay, with the understanding. What's this person's message? <clears throat> okay, I got triggered. So we'll clarify that in a moment. Let's pull another message. We have, I want to protect you. And we have, I want to take you on a trip. Okay. One thing I'm just being called to say, I don't know why, but sometimes like when people get triggered, you may have no idea. You may have no idea because sometimes people don't tell you that they're triggered because for people, like people's triggers are so individual and they're so um, unique to them because of their experiences that you might have done something, said something, or maybe they interpreted something that really triggered them. But I'm just getting that some of you guys may have no idea because maybe it's not something that would trigger you, right? Um, so this person did get triggered in this connection. Maybe that's what led to a separation between the two of you. I'm also getting that this person, if they're not speaking to you, it's their way of trying to protect you from themselves because I feel like they're understanding that they have issues with being committal or they have issues with kind of making up their mind. I feel like this person is very much like a free spirited person. Like they, this is the type of person that's very hard to pin down. Like they're like a free spirited, like no one's going to make me commit. No one's going to like, you know what I mean? It could be more of an avoidant attachment, but this person as well could also travel a lot. This is someone who just likes freedom. They live for freedom. Maybe they're like always on the road or they're just, they just love freedom. And I feel like this is something that triggers them a lot when it comes to connection because the thought of being like in something committed is very scary to them. Um, we also have, I want to take you on a trip. So again, lending to this idea that they may travel a lot. This person may want to take you on some sort of adventure with them. But again, if they're not speaking to you right now, this is their way of trying to protect you from themselves, I feel. Wow, this person caught feelings for you quick. I fell for you instantly. Let's see. Oh my gosh, okay. So, everything that I just said, right? Looking at who this person is, this is a free-spirited person you're not gonna tie me down type of person. They met you and they fell for you like instantly. And I almost get that this made them angry, five of wands. This could have actually been what triggered this person is that they started to, like all of their defenses, right? So this person, their way of, of, of protecting themselves is to be free, to keep their options open, to never fall for anyone, to never get too deep. The problem is, is that with you, they this happened like instantly. And it started to anger them, started to trigger them. Look, oh my gosh, the five of pentacles. This is the lonely card. See? This person has a deep wound around abandonment, I feel like this person is so used to feeling lonely that they do not know how to let love in. And so you came along, they started to feel something for you, but it didn't match how they feel inside. And it triggered them. It actually made them angry, which is really interesting. I almost get that by this person falling in love with you, it actually created anger inside of them. Because again, this person has to heal. So don't take it upon yourself to try to do the work for this person because this person has to heal. But I do think what's great about this person is that they're starting to see this. Whereas maybe before they didn't realize, but now they're starting to see why they got triggered, why the situation bothered them, why they pulled away. Okay, so that's pile number three. So I hope this resonated for you guys. If you want to book your own personal reading, I do have a 30% off promotion for today only. So check the date of this reading. I'll leave it in the comment section and it's for the emergency readings only. Okay. But I'm sending you guys absolute love and light and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.